Hey. So I guess it's time for another video because I, I seem to remember that I'm supposed to be making those. Yeah. Anywho, if you've seen uh, my update video, good. If you haven't, go watch my update video. But um, if I still haven't gotten around to one of your video requests, put it in the comments. I have horrible memory. Mm -hmm. And I just like doing videos like this now. I'm sure there's distractions like people going by, but I don't know. I like this. I enjoy it. It's very peaceful and serene out here. Anywho, one of my subscribers, Quest for Glory Gamer, has asked me to discuss the Outer Worlds. Now, the, the Outer Worlds, we don't know much about it as of right now. We've only seen a trailer that was during those laughable video game awards. I actually did an entire video on the game awards and never uploaded it. No joke. Also loud truck. <laughs> I did an entire video on the game awards, but I never uploaded it. I didn't upload it because I was sure I was going to get a lot of backlash because I made fun of that stupid furry faggot. And yes, I called him a stupid furry faggot in the video a lot. And I, I, th the whole gist of that video was basically, we don't care about your sexuality, we don't care that you're a furry, we don't care about you, you get the fuck off the stage, we care about video games. So it was really kind of annoying, but I didn't upload that video. All we know though about the Outer Worlds so far is what we've seen in a trailer. It is a game from Obsidian, if you don't know who they are I'll explain in a minute, and it looks like it's going to be a first person shooter RPG experience, and I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it because, number one, we need more RPGs these days. A lot of games have been steadily going away from what I consider traditional RPG. I'm not talking about like Final Fantasy or JRPGs. That's That's been its own thing for a long time. That's why they're called JRPGs. They're completely different. But I mean actual role-playing, tabletop, Dungeons & Dragons-esque style role-playing. That's, that's what I want. I want an RPG. I want something that allows me to level up, collect attribute points, assign classes, skills, things like that. And I'm hoping Obsidian does that. Because they were the ones that worked on, um, I want to say they worked on one of the KOTAR games. I think it was Knights of the Old Republic 2. And of course they, they worked on Fallout New Vegas, which is a lot of people's favorite uh, Bethesda Fallout. Now me personally, I'm still very partial to 3 and 4 has become my new favorite. But I can understand people's problems with 4. It's pretty much a yes man game. Like you can say no to very few people in it, and it's really annoying. And I don't know if y'all hear the birds. Holy God. I decide to record when the birds are attacking. If y'all hear that, I'm sorry. But Fallout 4 has a lot of problems. I like it, but it's not much of an RPG. Yes, you level up, yes, you collect points. I actually really like the leveling up system in Fallout 4. It's worlds above New Vegas. Uh, worlds above uh, Fallout 76. But uh you know, with New Vegas, you had a lot of player choice. You had a multitude of endings. That was the thing with Fallout 4 that really sucked. Uh, that was the thing with Fallout 3 that really sucked. Fallout 3's base game ending was garbage. You couldn't really have a whole hell of a lot of choice in what you did, and it kind of sucked. But with New Vegas, you could choose to side with Mr. House and save New Vegas from the Legion, and you could you know, power up with him and you could make it more prominent and, and, and more profitable. You could choose to side with Kaiser and his legion and just steamroll New Vegas and, and be his horrible, tyrannical monster. Or you could choose to say fuck it to both of them, kill both of them, and rule New Vegas as yourself. But I think the big problem with uh, New Vegas was it didn't have any post-game. Like, after I got done with everything, I just had to start a new game, and I didn't like that. I thought that was shit. But with... The Outer Worlds, coming from Obsidian, I, I expect a lot, and I don't know if anything I talk about th in this video will be in the game, but I really do expect a lot out of this title. First and foremost, it's going to be set in space, which is awesome. It's going to be set on other planets. Hopefully we go to a multitude of planets because it's called the Outer Worlds. Hopefully there's space exploration and things like that, but really what I want is what they showed us in the, in the trailer. I want to fight monsters. I want to interact with merchants. I want to take quests. I want to choose whether to side with certain factions, and I want to make my own adventure. Yes, it'll have its own campaign, but that was the fun thing about New Vegas, and that's the fun thing about Ford, is going out on your own adventure, making your own fun. 
like 76 really screwed that up because it actually doesn't have anything besides making your own fun and it's kind of a detrimental experience because the campaign sucks but with the outer worlds i look forward to the possibilities with obsidian i hope that they have a lot of player choice that's what i want for instance let's say i want to choose to play the game as some sort of intergalactic bounty hunter i want to track down criminals and kill or capture them bring them back and and turn them in for bounties and and be that good virtuous character or let's say i want to play as a trader you know going between different stations and trading merchandise and and you know ferrying people and and doing these sorts of things I, I can't remember the name of the game but there was a game back in the day it was a space exploration type game it was a very old game and you could do things like that you could ferry people and merchandise and stuff like that and you'd have to fight off bandits and and stuff like that I would like that that choice or let's say I want to be some horrible space pirate and I want to I want to kill and murder and maim and steal and and be nefarious and infamous throughout the the galaxy you know that that would be really cool to me that kind of player choice and it doesn't have to be as black as and black and white as you know good neutral evil but I want to have the opportunity to do things that I would like to do and explore and create my own type of adventure because that's what I did with Fallout 3. Back in the day, when I would play Fallout 3, I would play as the virtuous character, you know, tracking down the, the evil uh, bad guys and killing them and killing raiders, and I'd bring my loot back to Megaton and sell it there. Or I'd go to, I don't remember all of the shops. There was one, I think, at Rivet City. I think it was called Rivet City, the big ship. I would go to the different shops and trade my loot and stuff and keep the best stuff for me and it was fun. It was something I enjoyed. I considered myself a a protector of Megaton, and I destroyed Timpani Tower with the ghouls. That was so great. But having that kind of player choice back in 3 was fun. Like, being able to choose, you know, hey, these, these people in Tenpenny Towers are kind of dickish. I like ghouls. I think they're cool. I think they're good people. I'm going to put on this ghoul mask and wreck y'all shit because your boss wanted to blow up Megaton. For no real reason, either. That was really cool to me. And I hope that the Outer Worlds allows us to do that. I hope the Outer Worlds allows us to explore and create our own adventures out in space. Now, obviously, it's going to have... It's probably going to be a first-person shooter. Maybe there'll be melee combat, I don't know. But I also look forward to using all kinds of experimental sci-fi weaponry. You know, laser guns and photon torpedoes and whatever else that they want to throw in there. I look forward to fighting... Aliens. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know if there will be aliens, as in like you know sentient life forms that you can communicate with, a la No Man's Sky. If that's the case, awesome. I want to interact with other species and play it kind of like Mass Effect, and you know use diplomacy, or maybe there's you know evil races like uh like what were those things called in Metroid? I can't remember. This. I think they were literally called space pirates. You know, you got the bad guys, but you've also got bad humans. I want that. I also want to explore worlds and fight alien wildlife, maybe document things, uh, you know, find new forms of ores and, and plant life and, and, and collect things and, and catalog things, you know, that would be great for collectibles and collectors who like to get all the little things and nooks and crannies and fill out their data logs. I look forward to, you know, if it has space exploration, if it has, I, I know this is a huge thing that it might not have, but I'm going to talk about it, if it has space combat, I want to engage in that. The idea of maintaining my own vessel and traveling from planet to planet, again, all I know, man, Sky, but having more in-depth... God, those fucking birds. Do y'all hear that? Having more in-depth exploration, space combat, space dog fights, you know, that all seems really entertaining to me. And if the Outer Worlds is able to pull that off, awesome. If they don't have that, okay. But I definitely want them to have a lot of player choice and a lot of things that I can do in the main game. I want to be able to explore, fight, collect, interact with interesting diverse characters and I want to see what this game brings to the table. It looks really good and it looks like it's going to have a comedy zing to it. I love games that are comedic and have that punch and that entertaining characterization like Destiny is garbage but the best part of Destiny was Cade 6 I think his name was Cade 6 Nathan Fillion's character I like that I like games that incorporate humor into them but I also want to have serious tones and I want to have 
a, you know, something to fight for and something to work towards. I want to, you know, have a, a big, bad, maybe intergalactic federation that I have to worry about. You know, I know it's a lot of commercialized stuff. Maybe it'll be corporations you, you fight against, but I want to, I want to see what they can bring to the table with this. Cause this is, this is coming from city. Are you going to stop at that stop sign? No, of course not. You're going to fucking blow right through it. God damn it. I hate people that drive in this state. <laughs> There's a stop sign right over there, and that motherfucker did not stop. Anywho, <laughs> I hate people. Anywho, fucking hate you. Anywho, I, I want to see what the Outer Worlds can bring to the table, what kind of entertaining things they can allow us to do in this new environment, in space, foreign planets, foreign, hopefully, factions and races, maybe alien races and things like that. Now, if there are no aliens and it's just wildlife, okay. But I want to see what they can do. I want to see something new and fresh and entertaining. And I want it to also have strong RPG factors. I want to have a skill tree. I want to set my character up and I want to build them a certain way. I want to be able to invest in merchantile abilities and, and speech checks. And I want to have, you know, like if I'm, if I'm in a conversation with characters and I'm picking dialogue options, you know, whether you have a voice protagonist or not, I don't give a fuck. But I want choice. I want to be able to be snarky and, and say no, be threatening, be persuasive. I want to be able to be charismatic with the characters I like. And I want to be able to be a complete renegade dickhead to people that piss me off. I want to have the option that if in the middle of a conversation I don't like the way it's going, I want to end the conversation and blast them with my, my space pistol. I want these options. And if Obsidian can pull it off, this game will be absolutely phenomenal. From the possibilities of what we don't know, the sky, no, the space, the universe is the limit. I want to see what Obsidian can do with this game, and I'm honestly really excited about it. So, The Outer Worlds, we don't know much, we've seen one trailer, and I'm hoping that Obsidian can just really pull it out of the park and make something that, I, I know it's not going to compete with Bethesda RPGs, I know it's not going to compete with Bioware RPGs, but I want to see these guys have a huge comeback and make something worthwhile that people will look back on with nostalgia and be like, that was a great game. So hopefully they can do it. If not, we'll see. I, I, I just, I don't know anything about it, and I'm just brainstorming at this point. But Quest for Glory, blah, 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 blah. Quest for Glory Gamer wanted me to discuss this, and I finally got around to doing another video request. I'm so proud of myself. But yeah, if you have a video request, put it in the comments below, and I will try to get to it when I can. And what are your thoughts? Are you excited for the Outer Worlds? Do you, do you know Obsidian? Do you have experience with their games? You know, the original creators of Fallout? Anywho, that was in the trailer. I thought that was funny. Anywho, I want to know what you guys think. Put your comments down below, drop me a thumbs up, and do remember to support the channel. When I upload, please show up. Please watch, because if you're not watching, I don't have a whole lot of reason to upload stuff. So do check in from time to time. If you haven't rung my little bell to get email notifications, maybe do that. Maybe that's why people aren't seeing it. YouTube has been really screwed up lately. If you haven't rung my bell, ring my bell. Or bookmark my... Oh my god, there's a horde of birds flying through the sky. They must be migrating. If you haven't, maybe bookmark my, my channel. Just like save my channel and check in occasionally if, you, if you're not getting notifications. But I really do need your support. So if you're not supporting me, maybe step that up a little bit. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some comments. And give me your video requests so that I can get to them. Alright? Do take care, everybody. See you in the next video.